Hey guys, this is me Akash here for Vipin Sharma Biology Tutorials and in this tutorial we will be discussing about NCRT back question discussion part 2 that is discussion of questions from question 6 to question 10. Okay, so the first question says how is biodiversity important to an ecosystem function? So if you remember I just talked about one point that if the biodiversity richness, if the biodiversity levels are quite high, the stability of that ecosystem is quite high. If the biodiversity levels are low, then definitely it will impact the stability of that ecosystem. So the first point says this much only, high species diversity is directly re related to stability. So the second thing is if biodiversity levels are high, that means the productivity of that ecosystem is high, the biomass content in that ecosystem is high and due to which it is able to resist any kind of disturbances. So this way it's directly impacting the ecosystem functioning. And the third point says, that it maintains an important role in maintaining the health and ecological balance of an ecosystem. So in this you can target the, the importance of biodiversity wherein I talked about that it maintains your carbon balance, nitrogen balance, oxygen balance, the rainfall pattern, seasonal changes, all these areas of the ecosystem is governed by the biodiversity levels. So these are the important points and you, for more information you can refer to this video biodiversity conservation. The question number seven said what are sacred groves and what are their roles in conservation this we haven't discussed in any of the videos but it, it is important so the thing is like there are trees like neem banyan people these are related to your religion and cultural stuff so the uh, sacred groves are tracts of forest which are regenerated on the places of worship and it's for sure sure that if you worship something you will definitely not cut it or definitely not uh, cause any harm to it so deforestation is strictly prohibited in this region at is, as it is conserved by your religious views and the community rules and all. So this indirectly helps in conservation of many other species. Like there are species which live on these plants, the natural habitat is not cut. Like so the, if the natural habitat is safe, the species which are residing on these areas are also safe. Help in production, uh, protection of rare and threatened species, endemic species, endemic I have already discussed in one of the videos of plants and animals. So we have discussed what is sacred groves, this and what is their role in conservation. Okay, so here are some examples. Uh, they are found in Rajasthan, Western Ghats of Karnataka, Maharashtra, Meghalaya, all these areas, sacred groves are found. So question number eight says among the ecosystem services, how will it will control floods and soil erosion, especially the biotech components. The biotech components, you know, are mainly plants and animals also, but here if it comes to soil erosion and floods, it's mainly into plants because what happens, the roots of these plants are holding the soil particles tightly and if it's holding the soil particles tightly, it will not allow the top layer that uh, of the soil to erode. Likewise, it's preventing your soil erosion. Further, the soil, it, the roots of this biotech component, that is the plants, are making the soil porous. If the soil is porous, water can seep down into it. If water can seep down into it, it can prevent floods also. Thereby, groundwater infiltration is there and thus floods are prevented. Now comes question number nine. Okay, so in question number 9, it's a pretty open-ended question, like you can write a lot of stuff out here. So, I have just broken down into one simple line, prevents all kind of pollution and waste management. The question says, on what, at what level you can conserve your biodiversity? So, if you are uh, preventing any kind of pollution, ranging from your uh, air, water, soil, for air, what we can say, use reduction in use of fossil fuel, we can use CNG, all those household, we should not open burn it, all these areas under air pollution control, now the water pollution control and then the sound pollution, noise pollution, any kind of pollution which we are creating at our end can be prevented. Further waste management includes reuse, recycle, reduce, reduction of waste, all these points can be considered in this question. This is an open-ended question, you can write a lot of stuff which comes under these two categories. Now question number 10 which says, can you think of a situation where we deliberately want to make a species extinct? The answer to it is yes. For example, a species of microbes is, con is harmful to us or there are certain parasites which are harmful to us or disease causing microbes. 
then we deliberately want that species to be removed from the environment say your hepatitis vaccines are there polio virus is there polio virus is there so we are making up vaccines to remove that to eradicate that malarial, malarial parasites are there so we are making up medicines we are min, um, getting solutions to it how to remove that from our environment so the thing is say, say yes and the situation is like parasites or disease causing microbes we deliberately want to eradicate them from earth so that's kind of it guys for this video and i hope this chapter is clear to you now Thank you.